Detron did this. I like that one. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back, guys, to another episode of Detron Does It. Of course, I am Detron, and I does stuff. And this week, we're making popcorn, but not just any popcorn. We're trying to make gourmet popcorn at home using a popcorn machine that you probably wouldn't expect. Look, we were in Target, which you know is probably my favorite store to shop in, and we were back there in that corner section. You know, the one that has like the ad scene on TV, you know, I like the, the cheap, gifty items, uh, and came across a popcorn machine that was on sale. It was originally $25, we got it for 15, and I was like, man, sure, this is good for like watching a movie, popping up some fresh popcorn, but could this make some of that gourmet popcorn? You know, like the caramel and cheese, or maybe even some uh, Oreo popcorn? And so I set out on a mission on the internet to find recipes that I can make using this $15 popcorn machine. So let's crack this popcorn machine open and see what it's all about. So let me stop right here and tell you guys, before we get into the gourmet part of making the popcorn, this has to be possibly the easiest popcorn maker I've ever used. Literally, there's no oil, there's no extra stuff. You take these cornels, these cornels, <laughs> the machine, and hit the button. Like, this is super easy. As a side note, my kids haven't eaten unsupervised popcorn yet. I'm just not there yet as a parent. All right, let's get back into it. I'm not gonna get into all the details because I'm gonna put those down in the, the description, but you're gonna need some white chocolate, some oil, and some Oreo cookies. Take a bag, go ahead and pop some popcorn in there. Now, you'll find out later on, I only made one batch of popcorn, so I end up splitting it between the Oreo and the cheddar and uh, caramel that I do later in the video. Probably should just make two batches. Anyway. So we'll go ahead and add in your oil. I use coconut oil, but you could use whatever you like. And then a generous helping of these white chocolate chips. I got melting chips, but you can probably use any white chocolate that you like. And then we'll go ahead and pop that in the microwave. Keep an eye on it so that it doesn't burn because you don't want that. Once you've got it all melted down, you wanna go ahead and pour that over the popcorn, get a pretty good pour. And then you're just gonna start to mix it up. You wanna do this process relatively quickly because you don't want that um, white chocolate to set up and get hard. It definitely will not cover the popcorn well if you do that. So using a, a bag is easy. I mean, you're just knocking it around. Try to be careful with the popcorn. You don't wanna beat it all up and crush the popcorn. You just wanna make sure that you're getting that white chocolate over most of the kernels. And then I just took those Oreos. You could take a rolling pin to them and crush them up. I just use my hand because, I mean, I already have my hands here. I don't have to dirty up another dish, uh, but you can do it however you want. As long as they get finely crushed up and then pop them back in the bag, seal it up, and then move them around. That way you can get a pretty good covering of Oreos over top of the popcorn as well. Once you've done that for some time, go ahead and put it out on a baking sheet and let it cool. Try to spread it out so that none of them are super sticking to each other. Uh, that way you get a really even covering of that white chocolate over the popcorn. And then a handful of this stuff is absolutely amazing. And that's, that's pretty much it. You set it off to the side and we're gonna move on to our next popcorn, which is the caramel and cheddar. 
So for the caramel and cheddar, again, all the directions will be down in the description. And that includes amounts. I'll tell you right off top, I put too much molasses, which you can see me put in here now. That's too much. Uh, it came out very molasses-y, if, if that's a phrase. There's gonna be some brown sugar, some butter, some molasses, and we're really just creating that caramel sauce that we're gonna pour over our popcorn. Uh, you're also gonna need some vanilla extract, some baking soda, but once you put that baking soda in, this mixture is really gonna start to foam up. So you gotta make sure you're keeping an eye on it. One, so you don't burn it, but two, so it doesn't overflow onto your eye. So there's the vanilla extract, like I mentioned, and then we should be getting our baking soda in there, and then you'll start to see the baking soda react, and this thing really starts to fluff up. At that point, you wanna go ahead and take it off the eye, cover your popcorn with it, your popcorn is going to shrink down just a bit again be gentle as you're tossing this stuff you don't want to beat up the popcorn where you're you know eating basically crumbs of popcorn you want to try to keep it light and fluffy but get a really good coating over all of the popcorn once you do that get it out on a baking sheet get it spread out pretty good that way none of the kernels are sitting on top of each other because we're going to need to pop this thing in the oven and bake it it's gonna bake somewhere between, depending on how much you use, somewhere between like 45 minutes and an hour. And so you wanna make sure it's lined with something so that that stuff doesn't burn to any of your good pans. Again, if you see down in the description, the amount of molasses I use, don't use as much as I did. Here, I know it doesn't look as appetizing, but again, some of this is just uh, burning off because it's in the oven. And so once you mix it around a little bit, make sure you mix it around so it doesn't stick to your parchment paper. Uh, and then we're working on the second half of the caramel and cheddar popcorn. So that's some regular popcorn covered in some butter. Normally you would want to use like a cheddar powder um, to make the cheddar part of this, but I couldn't find it in the store. So I end up using a white cheddar seasoning. Definitely was not the same. I won't lie to you. But here's the finished products. This is how it turned out. The Oreo was fire. Like this was actually really good popcorn. It turned out much better than I anticipated it would. And certainly something that I would make over and over. But on the other side, the uh, caramel and cheddar, eh, not so much. I went a little too heavy on the molasses, but it's all good. I'll do better next time. All right, guys, what do you think? Did the recipes look easy? Would you try this at home? Are you gonna try this at home? Let me know down in the comments. As a note, I went a little heavy with the molasses when I was making the caramel popcorn for the caramel cheddar mix. So if you guys are actually following the directions that I leave down in the description, please do about half of the molasses that I suggest, because if not, you're gonna end up with a very molasses-y taste. molasses -y? Whatever. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. As always, please like, share, subscribe, hit that notifications button, get some alerts, find out when we're dropping new videos. And if you decide not to like, share, or subscribe, you know what? I won't even be mad at you. Till next time, guys. Peace.